May corn was sharply lower today, down 15 cents, and also closing below its 50-day move moving average for the first time since January 11th, which by the way, January 12th was a surprisingly bullish USDA report that had pulled us up uh, from lower levels. And uh, as of Thursday, we've, we've taken that back now. Uh, there, this is happening on hopes that that Brazilian second season corn crop, that's their all important export crop, is going to start catching up faster uh, as far as their planting pace. They had been behind, specifically behind last year, not terribly behind the three year average, but behind last year, which pushes, pushes that crop or has the potential to push that crop into the hotter, drier period that they have at the end of the growing season. So for the fact that they might be catching up uh, a little bit in the next few weeks, uh, is seen as optimistic for the prospects, the yield prospects for that crop. We also saw the USDA's Ag Outlook Forum numbers. Now, these are the first time that the USDA gives us their uh, sort of outlook or, or balance sheet for the coming crop that we're going to be putting in the ground this spring. And uh, although the trade usually kind of takes this with a little bit of a grain of salt, I think it had a bit more impact uh, I, I, this time around, mainly because I think the trade was a little bit surprised to see that the demand numbers weren't all that strong. Uh, and the USDA did give us a 181.5 national average yield. That's what they will be using for trend line. That is a big yield on 91 million acres. All in all, the end result was a 1.887 billion bushel carryover. Now, that is a larger carryover than what we've seen the last couple of years. So it served to remind the trade that with a halfway decent crop this year, and a little bit lower demand, not necessarily lower than this year, but you know, lower uh, when we expect de demand to really just be increasing every year. It's not really doing that according to the USDA next year. Uh, we could end up with a fairly sizable carryover once again, which may not uh, be conducive for higher prices. So um, yes, it was a very interesting day. It was a very interesting day from a technical perspective. So it'll be very interesting to see how corn follows up this day. Uh, everybody, Happy trading, stay safe.